percent until one of them just like gets a really really good read or commitment or the other player makes it back safely and throws them off. But yeah, opting for PS2, a fantastic stage for both of these players. You see Jen not committing to any projectiles right off the bat, but calling out an empty jump with an air, but Stretch falling out of it somehow. Wow, that was definitely unexpected. Maybe Stretch threw it a little bit of SDI. Anyhow, um, great shield, but right now Stretch needs to get something started. Ah, uh, again, like, <laughs> The, all of these multi-hits in this game just like not converting into themselves properly <laughs> and Stretch falling out of the neutral air again. Wow. Um, anyhow, great up B out of shield from Stretch. You know, just something super quick. Not wanting to risk anything else out of shield. Um, and this is definitely where you see Jen excel. Keeping him off stage, keeping him at ledge. Right now Jen has got to be super, super patient. You see the Jen's perfect spacing. Make sure he's not going to get hit with the shark on Lucina's upbeat, but the down tilt back here, almost enough to take it. Wow, you see Stretch recoiling, he's a little bit confused. He, that was definitely a misimp, but he did not mean to reverse the upbeat for right now. Ooh, great forward air. Uh, but I love the fact that uh, Jen opted for an upbeat above the ledge, you know, just able to throw off Stretch's timing a little bit more, making sure that he wouldn't be able to two for him. And, you know, I love the fact that Stretch opted for those down tilts at ledge because, you know, it's safe on Lucina, uh, excuse me, uh, it's safe on Palutena's shield. Just, like, gonna push you back a little bit. But right now, you see Jen going for a back here, but Stretch able to throw out a forward air in time. Great standing grab, just, like, waiting for Stretch to press a button. But suddenly Stretch is keeping Jen in the corner right now. Something about that exchange kind of bothers me just a little bit. Um, you know, Stretch missing the upbeat, and then Jen going for the down smash. I think he was trying to lead uh, Stretch dropping down. Well, regardless, right now Stretch has to find a way to make this back. Great parry into, I believe that was a roll, circumventing both hits of an air. Uh, Stretch knowing that he won't be able to make it back, just, you know, opting to drift towards the ledge. Right now this is a very, very convincing lead for Jen. Uh, Stretch has to find some way to close out the stock as soon as possible before Jen earns any more extra credit. Well, regardless, right now, um, <laughs> Stretch needs a good neutral air. And you see Stretch going through those upbeats again. It's so committal, but he's landing on those PS2 platforms really safely, knowing that Palutena has fantastic speed, but just not quite enough to punish it. Um, or you just need immaculate reaction to do that. And the up throw is not enough to take it. Of course, Lucina's up throw being nerfed going into ultimate, but the back air taking out the stock. Stretch sitting at a pretty precarious 77, 90% off stage. He has to drift back. <gasps> and that up B, I mean, um, excuse me, the neutral B. That was so good from Jen. Just like nerfing, um, just like gimping Stretch's recovery. That was really, really great. Um, I feel like going into game two, Stretch has to make sure, the, the, the first stock, the SD was unfortunate after all, but he has to really be mindful of his drift when he's coming back up, because if he's not so mindful, he's gonna get gimped again, or uh, Jen is gonna run off neutral at him. He has to make sure he's sticking to the edge of the stage. He has to make sure his eyes are peeled, and he has to make sure he doesn't get too frightened by that down tilt, which can be super menacing, since if you DI that incorrectly, like, that's it, you're gonna get back at him. But regardless, you know, Jen starting off with a neutral air, but not able to convert it to anything else. Jen dropping his shield prematurely and getting knocked up for it, but uh, only taking 5.3% from that. Great down throw, up air, up tilt, and Battlefield is definitely the stage of choice for a character like Lucina. Um, you know, because on the stage, like, Lucina is able to get so many different combo uh, extensions with the platforms um, and just, like, keep Palutena juggled. But, you know, just as foretold, like, most of the set is being played at ledge. Jen missing the standing grab, Stretch able to get out of there in time. And a great neutral air. I don't believe that was a two frame, but still able to knock Jen back quite a bit. Jen is, has made it back to ledge. Great uh, attempt at a tech chase there. Honestly, that was a little bit of a rock, paper, scissors. I love the attempt from Jen. There was nothing much else he could have done there. Uh, it, was, it was a little bit of a chance event. Wow, and you see Stretch trying to land with the back here, but, you know, of course, Palutena's shield giving her the invulnerability she needs just to armor through it. Um, well, right now, uh, Stretch, Stretch isn't down all that much. Just knock him off. He has, all he has to do is knock Jen off, maybe get a good down tilt. 
Ooh, I don't think that was intentional. I think he was trying to go for the ledge jump back here. Really, really unfortunate, considering that Jen is going to be able to get so much percent off of it. A great up beat from Stretch, knocking back Jen, effectively resetting neutral, allowing him to get back onto stage. Wow, I love that. That was super, super good. But I think the up tilt might have been a little bit premature, considering that um, I, I think no one combos into up smash, though I'm not entirely sure. Um, and right now, Jen is just picking out more and more percent from Stretch, just like getting all the mileage that he can out of the stock. A uh, back here, 67%. This is not where Stretch wants to be. <gasps> Again, a fantastic parry. Now, that is something you see a lot of commentators mention, like how people parrying a shield with great uh, back here from Stretch. But there is a very distinct audio cue before the neutral beyond Lucina is released. So. If you haven't dropped your shield, the worst thing is going to happen, you're going to hit with a fully charged neutral B. Right? And if you parry it, right, like you're going to be able to get a lot of reward off of it. So it's not all that difficult to do. Um, but regardless, that's not to discredit any of Scratch's playing. Right now, Scratch, who almost getting the tech chase, uh, the tech lead on Jewel. But, oh, I'm so sorry, on Jewel, on Jan. Uh, Jewel walked into the room as soon as I was saying that. I'm a little bit frazzled, frazzled right now. Um, and, and the amount of restraint you just see being exercised by both of these players. You don't see them like, committing to anything too aggressive. They're both just like sticking to the bread and butters at the ledge. You know, they're just keeping each other off as long as possible. Huh. I'm not really sure what just happened there. I'm surprised that F Smash didn't connect. But he still got pushed back by the win box. That was a very, very curious exchange. Um, and again, Stretch trying to go for those two frame back hits, but still slightly off on the timing. Jen doing a great job to mix up his drift, but the upbeat at the edge of the stage like that, more than enough to take out the stock. Right now, Stretch is only down by 35%, and this is what I mean by those combo extensions on the platform, but he just, just missed it. And right now, Jen is getting something a little started with the falling forward and into a dash attack. Stretches off stage. This is not where he wants to be, but the get up attack perfectly timed with allowing them to reset neutral. And oh, he was trying to lead a tech roll in, but I feel like Stretch could have just like position himself just a little bit closer with shield, and that way he would have been able to react and punish a little bit better. Right now, Jen trying to get another gimp with that uh, neutral B. Getting the down tilt forward, not quite enough to take out the stock quite yet. Uh, Jen just a little bit off on his jump timing. Um, still getting hit by the upbeat, but the backfield not taking it off quite yet. One back here, one quite literally anything from Jen will be enough to take it. This is very, very dangerous for Stretch. Ooh, great timing on normal get up at the back here. More than enough to take the stock. Very, very clean 2 0 from Jen. They got, you know, both of these players, I just love their patience. I just love the fact that they know what they, their characters do. They know what their characters don't do. You don't see them committing to things that they know won't work. And both of these players, instead of trying to outplay each other with wacky options, they're just making sure to have super, super solid ledge trapping. Um, I feel like game one could have gone super differently for Stretch. Maybe he was just like warming up on the stream setup. Uh, that SD was really unfortunate after all.